fish. Dale's been using a plastic little uh, grub motor oil in the Z-Man. And uh, yeah, I had a run on bait before and we lost it. But this one looks like she's fairly well hooked. Uh, about 20 metres of water just uh, north of Bateman's Bay. I've been here since sun up and um, yeah, it's overcast, um, it's winter so the water temperature is about 17 degrees so in the mornings we usually fish quite shallow and as the sun comes up we move out wider but today being overcast you can see in the background we'll probably stay in close for a while. What are you after than that? Grant coming out for a ride. Grant will be fishing. Grant will be fishing in um, the Irvine Classic in about three weeks. So he's come down to get some catch gear to use in the uh, Irvine Classic. Rubs worked again a couple of minutes later. Might have to actually chase this one down a little bit, I'd say. You reckon? Uh, you'll be right. <laughs> Hey, hey, just a quick rundown. The GoPro in this clip stopped recording sound, so this is what's happening. Dale's onto a bumper fish, he's using a two and a half thousand reel, and it's ripping line out of that. So we decide we're going to try and chase it, but it does run him up against rocks. Also, in this video, you'll see me use a product called Water Wings. We use it on lures and get some really, really good results, so I thought I'd try it on some bait. And yeah, much the same. Go down to your shop and check them out. Better fish. Uh, Got Simon and his son in the background there, if you can see him. a little bit deeper um, the sun's come up a bit higher and it went real quiet and we were just getting sergeant baker so come out to 40 meters now we're all doing different we've got a lure down we've got stray line and we've got a pano and it looks like the pano's scored a little panty beautiful perfect one man size fishing and doing this to show you that just not on lures but if you're a if you're a bait fisherman uh, these water wings are the things to do as well
Water wings at work again. The hooded warrior is doing nothing. That catch, that catch gear is doing the trick, isn't it? Yeah, those water wings. I thought I'd try them with bait. We've been using them on lures and doing them real well, and I thought, well, if I go all the way down in 40 metres and I lose my bait, there's nothing on there. So I thought if I put a water wing on, I've now still got a lure down there. So anyone that uses bait, get yourself some of these water wings. A bit of research goes a long way. if you haven't got those in your tackle. Woohoo! Water wing! It's a really good fish that. It took, I couldn't even get it out of the rod hole. Yeah, it took it. The fish took it. The fish took. Whacked it in that hard that I couldn't get it out of the rod holder while it was running. Look at this. He's got, I don't know whether it's a snacker now. It's just keeping me down. Look, it's fighting like a kidney. I'm not calling it for a kingy, but all I'm saying is, it's a good baker. Yeah, keep going. Oh, there's a fish there. I can feel it head knocking. Just go to the right a little. All right, straight enough at that. What it was, it's got me around something. Nah, keep going. Oh, we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. Alright, so um, I'll just give you a rundown what happened. Um, we're just sitting here like this, we've got using lures, panos, and I'm using the water wings with the bait. And, um, I just put down a uh, motor oil one on the same sort of rig as you're probably going to see earlier on in this video. And uh, Anyway, I had a big run, it ran that hard that I couldn't get the uh, rod out of the rod holder and uh, I thought it was a big snapper but then when it didn't slow down I was sort of calling it for a kingy and I think you'll hear that in the video and uh, yeah, it got me under a rock so you know, I had pretty good leader on which I usually use really, really light leader but that was 25 pound leader so I was pretty confident I could get it um, but when it ran under the rock we'll never know what it was. Anyway, that's what happened and I wish us luck we get on to something else. Branch on a nice small little panty, we can tell by the head knock. Uh, we'll come out, like I said, to about this 40 metre mark and uh, yeah, we've picked up a couple little panties now so gone from a few different lures and ended up with this one they could be just coming on the chew too because we've got them all within the last sort of 10 or 15 minutes so it's a time thing with snapper they're going to come on the chew at least once a day here it comes You can tell by the head knocks. <laughs> oh, it's a nice snapper. Fucking how's it do when you know it's cool enough? That's a nice size, isn't it? Yeah, that's a nice size. Yeah, 
that's probably the best eaten size fish you can get, to be honest with you. Here's a picture of the last fish in the video being caught by Grant. And yeah, wishing him all the best for the Dave Irvine Snapper Classic held in Coffs every year. He's going up again. They go up nearly every year. So all the best, mate. Also following this is some photos of Daniel, his father and his uncle. And yeah, I've had a little bit of contact with them over the last few months and trying to put them in the right direction. And it looks like they found it. Well done and uh, yeah, enjoy the pictures.